Dear student, myself, Professor Shinde Devi, working as a lecturer in Mechanical Engineering Department. Today we will have a discussion on the subject Engineering Drawing, that is EDR, subject abbreviation and code, course code 22207. We will have a discussion on oral questions. The first chapter, which we are dealing with the projection of line. Now, the first question here is a line perpendicular to VP parallel to HP, its true length is observed in. They are given the option front view, top view, side view, and top view, and side view. Now, where the true length is observed, the true length is observed. on the plane to which it is parallel. Now here the line is perpendicular to VP. Here the line is perpendicular to VP. It is a 90 degree to VP and parallel, this is the vertical plane, this is the horizontal plane, and parallel, it is parallel to HP. So the true length is observed in, it is HP means, in the HP we are drawing top view, in the VP we are drawing the front view, single point is observed here in VP, and at the HP we observe the line here. We will observe the true length, because it is parallel with respect to HP. So true length is observed in the top view. The answer is top view. Now the second problem. When the line is parallel to both HP and VP, its side view will be. When line is parallel to both HP and VP, its side view will be. They are given the option line and point. Now when the line is parallel to both HP and VP, this line is parallel, this is your vertical plane, this is your horizontal plane, and this will be your side view plane or PP. Now if the line is parallel to both VP as well as HP, the side view we obtain is a single point. The answer is Point. When line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP, its true length is observed in. They are given the option front view, top view, and side view. Now, as you found the rule, that is, to which plane line is parallel, the true length. is obtained at that respective plane. Now, here line is inclined, the line is inclined to HP by some angle theta, but it is parallel to VP, so true length is observed in the VP. True length is observed in the VP because it is parallel to VP. So, in the VP we observe which view? Front view. In HP which, uh, which view we observe? Top view. So, here the answer will be it is parallel to HP parallel to VP. So, True length is observed in 
front view. Now we will have a discussion on the projection of planes. What do you mean by the planes? Planes means the plate of negligible thickness. Okay, now which are the plates or planes? Circular plate, rectangular plate, square plate, triangular plates, hexagonal plate, pentagonal plate. Now, here is the first question. Projection of plane. A circular plate is inclined to the given option. If you observe at this figure, HP and VP. This is the answer. It is. This is the VP and this is HP. It is inclined to which plane? Which plane? It is inclined to HP. This is the surface of the plate. This is the plate. This is inclined to theta with respect to which plane? That is HP. So the answer is HP. Now the second problem, they have given the pentagonal surface. The surface, this is the surface of the plate. The surface of the pentagonal lamina is inclined to, that is angle given phi, inclined to, this is the surface. That is inclined to which plane? That is VP. So the answer will be VP. Here inclined to, kutla plane la inclined, HP la inclined to VP here. And here is VP, here is the HP. Now the second unit, that is projection of solids. Now we know solids mean three dimensional figure. There is a solid cylinder. This is axis. This is a cone. This is hexagonal. Prism, top face and bottom face are same. The shape is hexagonal. It is a prism. Now this will be the square prism. Now what will be this figure? Bottom is a square. This is the axis. Pyramid. If it is apex, they are given the constraint figure at the bottom square, it will be the square pyramid. Now, if it is a pentagonal shape, if this is axis straight, pentagonal pyramid. Now, the axis relation is very important. Just a basic question we will study. First, the figure has been shown to you, XY line, VP, HP, they have drawn the circle and uh, they have drawn the rectangle. Now, this is, we have to make imagination here. A cylinder. Now, this cylinder is now given is perpendicular to first position is perpendicular. This axis is perpendicular to VP. This is the HP axis is perpendicular. Now it is tilted here at some angle. Now this axis is inclined to VP. This is the axis. It is inclined to which plane? It is inclined to VP. So the answer will be VP here. Now in the second figure, if you draw now here the axis this is HP 
this is VP. Our axis of the cone base is resting on HP. Here axis of the cone is perpendicular to HP and parallel to EP. Here is the axis. We are given the XY line. This axis OP is perpendicular to HP and parallel to uh, VP. So single point is observed here. This is point. This is a total full axis, vertical axis. Now in the second phase, this axis OP is inclined to its plane HP. Here the answer will be HP. Now let us have a discussion on the unit 3 that is sections of solids. Here is the question. The cutting plane is inclined to which plane? Which plane means principal plane HP and VP. Now it is the cutting plane. Here I have shown the figure. If you observe in the front view, if you observe in the front view here, this is the top view, this is the front view and the cutting plane is acting here. Single line is there. This is the hacksaw cutting the plane. Now it is inclined to which plane? It is inclined to HP. It is inclined to which plane? HP. HP line inclined. It is inclined to HP. This cutting plane single line is observed in the orthographic provision. It is inclined to which plane? It is inclined to HP. So the here answer will be HP. Now in the second problem, the cutting plane is inclined to here inclined to which plane? VP. It is inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP. Now we will have a discussion on sectional orthographic views. Now which are the types of section? Thus as we have studied full section half section reward section remove section partial broken section Align section. Now here is the question. They have given the cylinder top view, hollow cylinder top view and front view. And they have given the section line. Which type of, they have given the question, which type of section it is. Now, one fourth part. This is the total four parts. If you divide the, uh, the object into four parts, this is vertical center line, this is horizontal center line, four part. Uh, that is only one fourth part is removed. It is the imaginary cutting plane. One fourth part A to A. This is one fourth part is removed. So it is called as a half section. Now here in the second question, which type of section it is? Here full half portion is imagined to be cut A. This half portion of the object is cut. So it is called as a full section. Auxiliary view. Now in the auxiliary view, today we will have, that is auxiliary view. When we are creating the auxiliary planes, when a surface of the object is either inclined to HP or VP, we have to create another plane, which are the principal planes, that is horizontal plane. These are the principal planes. horizontal plane HP where we observe the front view second is vertical plane VP in this plane we observe top view third is PP plane. Here you observe the side view. Now, if object surface is 
is inclined to HP or VP we will not observe its true image on any of principal plane to obtain true length we create auxiliary inclined plane EIP that is surface inclined to HP second auxiliary vertical plane EVP surface inclined to VP auxiliary inclined plane AIP is created when the surface of the object is inclined to HP auxiliary vertical plane is created when the surface of the object is inclined to answer will be the VP now we will have a discussion on conventional representation here the question is that this is conventional representation now they are given the symbol here is the symbol it is a conventional representation of they are given the liquid wood and cast iron this is the conventional representation of the liquid now here the, uh, they are given a figure that is outer circle is full and the inner circle is uh, three four that is the conventional representation for it is external thread. If the outer circle is a three fourth and inner circle is full, that will be conventional representation for internal thread. To transmit the heavy load, which type of threads are used? That is square thread. Such questions they can ask about the keys also. Uh, second couplings. Okay, thank you.